realistically speaking good morning everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Shantae otherwise known as Shantae with a T mm -hmm. and it is Sunday another day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad so I enjoy this moment it's the day that the Lord has made so <laughs> I tried to wake up at 8 o'clock really did yeah I saw I turned the alarm off everything I got up I sat up I said yes I might get into my devotional. Girl, I lay right back down and I went to sleep. It's 11 o'clock. That's so embarrassing. I wanted to do a nice little cute, get ready with me for church, but um, my sleep said otherwise. My God. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna try, try. Because I really wanna do this get ready with me. Like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put it off, but let's do it now. Let's do it now. All right, so let me put some lotion on my hands and stuff because I just got out the shower. This is your time to take a shower if you haven't already. You have to stop telling everybody everything. I know it's easy to get caught in that. I know you want to tell people and you want to share the important things in your life and the things that are important to you, but it's not meant for everybody. Not everybody is qualified for your vulnerability. Not everybody is qualified to receive the information that is dear to you. That's just what it is. Okay, everyone. So, I just put lotion on my hands. Woo! we're not ashy anymore but before we get into our little devotional i just wanted to show you guys um deodorant that i'm trying from target i don't know how to pronounce it saltaire salt air solitaire i don't know something like that but anyways we're gonna just read since i'm like really late um we're just gonna read two verses from saint john chapter 14 reading from verses 11 to verses 16 so 11 to 16 kjv version believe me that i am in the father and the father is in me or else believe me for the very work's sake verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because i go unto my father and whatsoever he shall ask in my name that will i do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he asks anything in my name, I will do it. If he love me, keep my commandments. So, off the bat, God promises is in verse 13. And whatsoever he asks in my name, that will I do. God is promising that, listen, if you ask for something, you'll get it. But I feel like that can be negative and positive. I feel like we ask, 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 and we're not giving anything to God. We're not worshiping him in spirit and in truth. We're not sacrificing time. Um, we're putting things in front of God. So I feel like we should be giving to God instead of just taking. Um, and I heard somebody say, like, when you're praying, praying is not just a one-sided thing. It's a dialogue. So you're supposed to be hearing from God when you're while you're praying also when you're praying you don't just say your prayer god i want this 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 and this and get up and go about your day no you listen to see what god has to say and if you're actually hearing from god but that's not what i wanted to say about it but that's that's my little two cents so far all right and then we're just going to be reading this devotional by carolyn larson it's an illustrated devotional for women and it just ties in with what i read in st john 14 today so it says you are a disciple maker god has a plan for your life that is bigger than you can even dream however his plan isn't just for you he has a job for you to do to make new disciples you make disciples by first sharing his love with others and helping new believers grow deeper and stronger in their faith encourage them to study god's word and pray then as their faith grows they ask they also have the responsibility and the privilege of making disciples keep it going tell the people what he has done for them tell them of his love his peace his strength and his guidance tell them of his heaven that is theirs for eternity by accepting jesus as savior help them grow deeper in faith learning to trust him more and know the power of his spirit living in them being a disciple maker is a great privilege and great response are you a disciple maker are you encouraging others are you telling others about christ about this beautiful person that has saved your life from so many sins are you telling them and i speak about me i speak to myself too like am i you know spreading the gospel the undiluted gospel to people that don't know because i feel like some people really want to know about god 
but there's nobody to tell them. Some people really don't know, hey, there's a Bible and Jesus saves and he loves you. Some people really don't know that. And we are keeping this beautiful thing to ourselves. So if you are not a disciple maker today, ask God to help you to be a disciple maker so you'll be able to draw people you know, to you, not forcing them to, but encouraging them daily, you know, showing kindness, compassion, love, the same characteristics that Christ had, you know, you display those characteristics to others and that'll simply draw them in. You'll be able to do greater works like St. John 14 said. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna walk on water, higher water and stuff like that, because, no. But the greater works that he's talk, that Christ is talking about, is spreading the gospel to and fro no matter where you go on social media your youtube whatever platform that you have like doing that greater works in this modern day and age so y'all do the greater works and if you don't know the greater works ask god to expand your wisdom knowledge and understanding as you go from day to day because there's work to do and time is getting really short you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's that's it for my little devotional today. I hope you guys got a little something from it. And if you didn't, I hope you will receive something soon. So this is what I decided to wear. So I'm wearing this lime green hat I got from Jamaica. I don't remember where. Oh, here we go. It's from T-Ray Hats. Y'all can look her up on Facebook. And she also got a website. So T-Ray, and then I'm wearing this dress, this lime green dress that I got from Burlington, I guess. And it goes perfect with the hat, like the undertone of the hat. And then I'm gonna be wearing these strapped heels that I got from Shein. Like, it's, they're super cute. I haven't worn them in a long time though, but that's either here or there. So, calm little fit for today. Nothing too hard, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so I got ready. I don't like my hair, but it is what it is. Honestly. Black accessories to tie with the black. And then the shoes, as y'all saw. Oh, what are you wearing? So I'm wearing, oh, let me pause this. I'm wearing Toby boots and the dress. I'm just kidding. I got this from Burlington. It's a brown dress. It's long. I don't, I'm not wearing heels today. I just can't. And then this hat. Yeah, brown and yellow. Period, poo. I don't have no and I did her hair. Turn, I don't have a brooch. Turn your head. I did her hair, you know. Book me. No, I'm just kidding. No. Nothing here. Anyways, y'all. So we're like kind of late, but I got this black brooch. I'm a brooch collector, BHW. Um, got the black watch, Apple Watch on. You know, period. Rocking it with the black little baguette purse whatever um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video short mini clip video if you want if you yeah if you like these type of videos like get ready with me for church let me know and i'll try to see if i can do more of these get up earlier next time so i can do more <clears throat> i didn't eat no breakfast i don't really eat on a sunday um i'm gonna see if i get a little munch munch if i can't then it is what it is um but yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. I hope the rest of the week treats you well. I'll pray for you as you do the same for me. I really don't like my hair, y'all. I really don't like my hair. But I ran out of hat hairpins, so I couldn't really. So I'm going to go to the beauty supply store after church, hopefully. Oh, we got to go to the bank. Hopefully you remember. Okay, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a blessed Sunday. Any last words, Shabekwa? God bless you. God loves you. Mwah. Bye.